Next tool is the saturated line tool and it's right next to the stream tool or the stream line tool and click on it. And this had, these are some really cool effect lines that will uh, kind of can give your lines and your, uh, your artwork some really dramatic uh, effects. So let's just take a look at them. Scattered saturated line, the first one. And just like before, it has tons of modifications you can make. So play around with these all you want. And if we click this, we get like this circle. And when we release it, it's going to create lines shooting away from that. So let me do that again. Control Z and undo it. And I clicked it twice, actually. <laughs> uh, so you can do all kinds of things with it. If you want really thick lines, I keep double clicking accidentally. That's the first one. And, you know, I could do this again. Yeah, it's getting quite a fit, few. Um, you can also, of course, use color. Don't, don't assume because I'm using black that you have to use black. You can use these um, with all kinds of effects and so on. So play around with these. The next one is the dark saturated line. This one is you actually uh, can make a curved line with this. And then when you release it, the lines are going to kind of bounce or not bounce, but kind of feed off of it. So that's pretty cool. And I'll show you later how you can put this behind characters or on top of them or whatever. Like you can, we'll talk about layers and you can actually do all kinds of things with how this is placed and um, the depth that's given on the page. So the next one, let's clear this. Trash. The next one is the dense saturated line and it's, oops. It's very similar to the scattered saturated line. You create a circle and then, but it has many more lines. So it so looks almost like the sun, but yeah, if you have a person here or an object, it's gonna take on different significance. But uh, this is, these are pretty cool line effects that if you didn't use, I think you'd uh, be missing out on some, it adds a, a touch of sophistication to your work that you probably can't get just doing this manually. This would this would take forever. This would take an hour to do this, even if you used a ruler. So it's very helpful. Next one is brightness. I'm going to clear these. Brightness is another circle effect. So, I mean, if you use this with color, example, let me show you with yellow and I'm going to make a little thicker. So this is kind of a cool, kind of fuzzy effect that, you know, you may not know what you would use this for now, but just keep this in mind and you're you'll be surprised like later on when you, you know, if you may need a, a gun firing, this might be a good effect. There's, there's, a, it's just kind of, you want to keep an eye out as you look at other people's work and see how they use similar effects. Cause there is kind of this, uh, this vocabulary to visual illustration that um, the way that we communicate action and and motion is uh, we've come up with some really innovative solutions and they're not always the same solutions in in American comics versus say Japanese comics they have their own unique answers so play around with this and the next one is burst and it's a burst I'm going to change it back to black this is pretty uh cool kind of like a firework almost effect and of course you can use colors and so on so it's pretty nice and those are your uh, saturated line tools